Know what I mean? Jedi Mind Tricks, MFC. Yeah. Can't listen. Yeah. Welcome to a segment for uh, residential solar electric site analysis. Um, we're going to be performing a site analysis on this common residential application. Uh, we'll take a look at the roof space, the electrical panel, uh, ultimately the utility bills, and we'll uh, take a look at the construction of the, the house to see what we can do. Okay, so I've identified the location of the main panel. Uh, also, knowing which way is south, which is that way, I've been able to walk around the house and take a look at which roof planes are facing south. We're going to go ahead and we're, we'll take a look at the uh, electrical panel. Identified where the main panel is. It's in this little area here. I'm looking at wall space uh, for possible inverter location. This is a very common condition uh, of a main panel. You know, the, the meter sockets. Uh, not very clear, it's been sprayed on, some paint, um, etc. I can still read the meter. I see that the wheel is spinning to the right, which means this house is consuming electricity at this time. Um, and I can go ahead and I can read where we're at uh, on our kilowatt hours meter. However, just knowing this, the dial information doesn't really tell us anything uh, at this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pop open this cover. You can see this one's a little tricky. There we go. Trying to be careful not to jostle the breakers too much. Uh, this was a trickier than usual panel cover to open. Normally it's just a couple of screws. And I see uh, we see our bus bars here. There's a bus bar there and a bus bar there. Let me bring you a little closer. Okay. So we looked around and I, uh, I noticed these Zinsco breakers. Um, real spectacular. There does appear to be room for us to backfeed a main breaker. We can just slide this whole breaker cluster up and insert at the bottom of these bus bars uh, another, another breaker for our solar electric system. I'm going to go ahead and open this box here because it appears to me that this might be a very useful entrance to our main panel uh, since it is flush it is a recessed panel um, popping into it getting into it can be a bit of a challenge so I'm gonna see if this provides us any clues as to uh, ease of installation I think that this box is going to provide us with uh, access to this recessed panel Um, I see there's been some connections in here. Uh, I see I have uh, a spare piece of conduit. And I see someone has installed some uh, split bolt kernies and then taped them up uh, the way that you are supposed to tape those. Uh, I see that these wires come through over here in the main panel 
Um, so we'll investigate inside the garage to see how that raceway goes and we'll see that uh, the size conduit appears to comfortably can fit some more conductors uh, coming from our our inverter. Closing up this box now. And you want to make sure that you line everything up right. And once it's lined up, it's just a couple of screws. So I'm going to go ahead and jot down. I'm going to go ahead and jot down some information about um, this panel. I'll snap a few still photos of it, and um, I'll record some of the the information off of the meter.